You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Hmm? Hi, guys. It's Georgia, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. So as you can tell from the title of this video, we will be making a photo wall collage. So if you've ever been on TikTok, which I'm not surprised if you have, literally everyone has it, but on TikTok, Pinterest, Tumblr, people have made these collages of photos. It could be from their aesthetics, musicians, actors, actresses that they like, and they kind of put them all together on their wall. And I'll be actually doing it on that wall right there because it's super plain and I just want to spruce up my room. Um, so yeah, I'll be showing you how to purchase the photos how to do it, and I'll be making my own. So without further ado, let's head on into the video. So before I head into the tutorial and making of my photo collage, I thought I'd give you a quick story on how I got my photos because they're from two different companies. So basically I ordered from Free Prints. It's basically this app where you can order four by six prints. They're all free, you just pay shipping. I did this around two weeks ago. And they were supposed to come Thursday, May 28th, but they were a no-show. And I'm a very anxious person. I do not like to wait. And I know that Corona is happening. So a lot of packages are delayed. Um, anyway, long story short, I went on the app today, actually, and they were saying they were reprinting and they weren't going to arrive till June 11th. And I'm like, I can't do that. I'm leaving for vacation to go see family in around five days. And I wanted to make this video and, you know, make my wall. So I tried canceling the order and then I went to Walmart and I got a hundred photos around for $20 and I got them printed in an hour. And my mom and I were going outside of our house. We went to go check the mail and the free prints were there. I tried to cancel it. I don't know what happened. So now I have around 60 of the same photos. Some are glossy, some are matte and then 40 are different because I have 60 in here and 100, but I'm just really stupid. And I thought I'd share that embarrassing story. Hey guys, it is voiceover Georgia. You're gonna hear me a lot today. Um, anyway, for this segment of the video, I thought I'd share just how I got all of my photos for my wall. So you wanna go onto Pinterest and try to make an account and you wanna go to the search bar. And once you want, go to the search bar, you basically wanna look up any keywords with aesthetic. So for this example, I'm doing pink and aesthetic, but you can do your favorite TV shows, retro, vintage. As you can see, the top um, results come up and you can kind of click on them, find out what you like. And once you find your desired picture, you can either do two things. You can save it to a folder, and I'll try linking my Pinterest down below so you can see all of my pics, or you can just save it directly to your camera roll, so press the three dots, and then download image, and that's it. Um, enjoy the next segment of me showing you my favorite photos and me being really excited. Okay, so I've taken the pictures out of their packages and these are the ones from Walmart and these are the ones from Free Prints and I'll take these out as well. Oh, so um I thought I should mention the ones from Free Prints you can either get in gloss or a matte finish and I did this in a matte finish or a gloss finish. But the ones on Walmart, I guess I wanted to do the 1 hour printing, so I got these in a matte finish. This is just Blair Waldorf. And so it's kind of a different feel, but I think they still look really good and they obviously they're the same size. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorites and kind of look for them. Oh my God. Wait, look, there's this one from The Breakfast Club. This one's really nice. Of course, Marilyn Monroe, Chanel. Oh, this one's one of my favorites. I'm a very big 90s geek. This is from Scream. It basically says nothing, just chillin', killin'. I thought that's really funny. Oh, this Michael Scott one, I'm not gonna say it because it's a swear and I, you know, there could be young viewers, I don't know. Oh, and then this one, if you've never watched that 70s show, this is a very iconic uh, scene. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna take my iPhone off the tripod and just show you all the pictures because I'm just so happy and excited. Please mind my tripod. But these are some pictures. I have Harry Styles and this is Dylan O'Brien. He's from The Maze Runner and Teen Wolf. I have some Tom Holland. This one's one of my favorites. I am an absolute like biggest fan of Friends. Some more of that 70s show. Oh, this one from The Office. You gotta love it. Um, oh, this one from Stranger Things. And I got some quotes as well. Tom Ho I I really just said Tom Holland. Oh my god, Timothy Chalamet. And then obviously there are really similar prints. There's around 60 that are the exact same. But I have 40 that are different. Here's a Friends. Oh, this cow print. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, I love this one. And I had to cut out Phoebe. I, gu I guess I cropped it. But I love this photo. <gasps> this one's really pretty. Oh, I got some like Vogue and Gucci things. Okay, I'm gonna sort through these and I'm gonna make them on this surface right here. <laughs> After looking at some of my favorite pictures, I finally decided to just spread them all out and I did this because I wanted to distinguish between the gloss and matte finishes, but this was just a really bad idea. It was just too long and I wanted to start right away, so I spread them out and I started doing the design and I did this brick and like tile kind of thing going on. You can kind of see it. But yeah, that's really it. Okay, so I thought I'd share my progress so far. So this is what it looks like. And I basically have all the duplicates of the matte photos here. Um, so I still have a lot more to sort through. This is going to be really big, but I'm loving how it looks. I'm not really going for a theme. I'm just laying, laying them all out there. And I think it looks great so far. So yeah, I'm going to continue doing this and I'll see you once it's all done. desk but I have finally finished it and this is what it looks like what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just take a really big picture of it and I'll go row by row with basically putting them down and yeah let's just start that process <music> my tripod because I think it was just too far away from there. I basically put down the first set of six and I brought two up. I'm going to do this one because it came first. And yeah, I'm just going to take them all and place them down. That's really all you have to do. And I'm hoping I have enough room. I may need to move this over a bit and I think that's what I'm going to do. But I'm just going to tape these first. Hey, it's VoiceOver Georgia yet again. So I thought I'd let you guys know about the tape that I used. So like I said before, I used double-sided tape, but I don't recommend this. I think you should use a stronger tape like masking tape or packaging tape. And I used that around halfway through putting on my pictures. It's just way more stronger and lasts a lot longer. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd let you know. 
And can we also appreciate how many times I put on and on my glasses? Like, make up your mind. <laughs> okay, so after three hours of working on my photo collage wall, I finally finished it. And here's what it looks like. I am so happy with the results. I think they look great. It fits perfectly. I did have to add the last two rows on the right side um to that side they're supposed to be on that side but yeah i am so happy how it turned out and i definitely recommend you guys trying this it was really inexpensive it helped pass the time and it looks great so i hope you guys liked this video it was absolutely a blast to make this wall it took me around three hours to make and although the photos took quite a long time to come and that whole fiasco happened i am still so grateful for how they turned out i 1000 percent recommend you guys trying this anyway that's it for today's video i'll see you guys next time bye it's a